On satellite, online, and on your smartphone, this is UCB Ireland. What a great track that was. That is a track called No Name Higher from an album called River of Life from Jason Doughty, who is a local Christian singer-songwriter. Well, local in Carlow. He's joining us in studio today. Great to have you with us today, Jason. Thanks, it's great to be here. Jason, we're going to be sharing your music with our listeners over the coming hour. Uh, You're our our Artist of the Week. Uh, But before we get into the music, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, okay, so I'm originally from England. I'm originally from um, Salisbury in in Wiltshire. Uh, Moved over here about uh, 16 years ago. 
Um, uh, my wife, Lorraine, she's from uh, Bunclody in, in Wexford. Her family's from there, so we moved over to be closer to them. That's that's how I got over here. I've been going to um, Barrow Valley Community Church probably since 2012, really, which is when my sort of... Um, I get. I guess I made a more serious commitment to God. You know, I've made a serious commitment to to start going to church and to start becoming part of a Christian community. Uh, before then, I'd I'd always I always knew God was with me. I always knew from a very young age, um, you know, that I believed in God. Um, but um, I'd never really made that full commitment. You know, well, I had and now and again, but you know, it was just a gradual progression of of really, you know, giving my life to Him. You know, so. Uh, and did did that happen in Salisbury or did it happen here? It, it happened here, I, okay. I think. As as I say, I'd always known, I'd always, but it just it was just you know pushing myself over that edge, getting to that point where I just realised that yeah. you know I wanted to give everything to God, you know. So um, so yeah, probably in about 2012, yeah. um, when I started going to Barra Valley is when uh, when that happened. Um, really. Yes. Uh, and what do you do in life? What what do you do full time? I'm I'm a, I'm a journalist, so I I edit um, business magazines um, and and websites, uh, easy e- zines, and all that sort of thing. You're based in Carlo. Um, based in Carlo, I work for a company in London, but yeah, yeah, busy. Very, yeah, yeah. It's 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 good, um, and uh, obviously, family life keeps you busy as well. Church life keeps you busy as yeah. well. So yeah. I'm well, talking about family life. You, you mentioned your wife. She's uh, an Irish girl from County Wexford. Yep, she is. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got children? Yeah, I've got two children, Ben and Luke. Um, amazing boys. Um, just just great. It's just great fun it's just wonderful being a parent and um it's also a big responsibility you know bringing them up um, of to to just plant that seed uh, about god and and so that they know god and that they um you know that and and hope that the holy spirit would just do his work and 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 bring them up in a, in a way that that brings them closer to god really what ages are your children um so nine and thirteen. Oh, great age yeah. Uh, what do you think are the greatest challenges nowadays to being a parent? I guess it's it's just balancing the fact of, of bringing them up as um, uh, people who, who love God and that know God exists um, and balancing that, making sure, because obviously at school they'll be learning about, you know, um, they'll probably hear, hear things in science and stuff that would would maybe make them think maybe challenge their faith but it's it's making them um just planting that seed and letting the holy spirit do its work really i guess also protecting them from you know the the things around them that could sort of stand in the way of that but also not restricting them so much that they sort of are put off of christianity you know because we're we're given freedom we're we're you know we're we're meant to enjoy life we're meant to have that freedom and to smile and be happy you know and and i think it's important for us to make sure that you know our children know that you know that it's not something they need to be concerned about they don't need to feel that guilt or or that sometimes comes with sort of christianity that they have a freedom and that that god wants them to live their lives but you know also remind them of the reason they exist the reason they live which is because of god so and how are they doing in their christian life they're doing really well, I think. Good. Yeah, you know, um, really well. Yeah. Are they following in their dad's footsteps musically? <laughs> well, they are. Um, Luke's playing the drums, um, so he's uh, and he's getting on really well. And Ben is um, is playing piano and also has a very good voice. I think Luke does as well. Um, so yeah, you yeah. never know. Yeah. Well, listen, the opening track off your new album is brilliant. A great opener for us today. Uh, your your second track today is uh, "Let It Rain." Tell me, yeah. the, tell me the story of this one. Yeah, the story of this, it's basically based around uh, Jesus' parable about um, the man who who built on the rock rather than sand. Uh, and when the rain came um, and the storm came, um, the, the house stood strong because Jesus is the rock and he's solid. And, you know, you, you, you have that comfort of knowing that your house will still stand even when the rain comes down. So um, basically it's about, it's about that. It's about, um, you know, let it let it rain let the let the storm happen because i'm i'm standing on the rock so i have that safety and salvation of knowing that i'm i'm stood on the rock and it's also harking back um it was inspired by psalms as well when you look at david he was one of the most um faithful servants of god that he ever had and yet a lot of the psalms you know i think we can take comfort in the fact that he's going through some really difficult times he's got his enemies beating at his door he's fully surrounded you know sometimes the israelites went through incredible trials um and um things were up against them and sometimes things didn't work out very well for them but still you can see david's faith that he's still calling out to god he's still pleading um and he's he's still 
he's still still got that sort of comfort in knowing that God's with him, and that, I think that's just incredible faith, and that's what this song's about. Okay, let's have a listen to it now. This is Let It Rain from Jason Doughty. <laughs> Surrounded by the enemy, it seems lost. I can't find my way out. Brought to my knees by my doubt. So let it rain Though my enemies beat at my door I got nothing to fear Knowing your love has conquered all You are my shield You are the rock on which I stand I got nothing to fear Trusting that you are strong to save, so let it rain. So let it rain. That's a track called Let It Rain from Jason Doughty and Jason joins me in the studio today to talk about his music and his life and uh, his faith. Uh, talk to me a little more about your faith, Jason. Uh, talk to me about church. You mentioned Barrow Valley Church. Where is this church? That's in Carlo, in um, County Carlo. It's a really lovely community church full of um, really nice people. There's a really sort of loving feeling about it. Um, it's um, it's also a fun place to go. You know, when we first went there, it was it was just... I just got a real feeling of really enjoying church, probably for the first time, you know, um, I, I really, um, I just love the feeling of community and it, I've really, I think as a family, we've really grown there and I as an individual have really grown there as well, you know, um, musically, I guess, um, I didn't, um, I hadn't sung at all um, until uh, about a year 
going into Barra Valley, I'd always thought, oh, well, maybe I can sing. But I, I got the confidence to sort of put myself forward for the worship group. So that would have been 2013. And from there, um, also started to try and learn the guitar because I'm not musically, I've, I've never played music before. Uh, and as I learned guitar, um, I just started, um, you know, doing doing chords and, and come... God was giving me tunes and yeah. words, and yeah. Um, and yeah, so it sort of went on from there, really. Right, you see, you're in Ireland, seventeen years. Yeah, uh, what, was your wife a, a Christian here in Ireland at the time? Um, no. Um, so when we got married, neither of us were really committed Christians. As I say, I believed in God, and I, I and Lorraine did too. But it wasn't something that you know we we had the same sort of moral values, but it wasn't something that you know we'd planned. You know, looking yeah. for uh, a Christian partner. So how did it happen? Well, it's it's just ama- it's just amazing. It's just it just goes to show sometimes you can't plan. You know, God has a plan for you, and you don't know what that plan is, and you might not do something on purpose. But you know, I don't believe in coincidence. I think He just has this incredible plan that two people who were like minded and and both were searching for God and had belief in God, but just weren't really living it out at that time. Um, you know, that we could be so supportive of one another and so, you know, yeah. could push each other on because, you know, it is incredible really. Um, you know, none of what has happened in my life I feel is sort of has been planned by me, you know, coming over to Ireland or going to Barra Valley or any of the things that I've done. Um, you know, sometimes we can't plan our way ahead, sometimes we can't try and work out what God's plan is for us. Sometimes he's got a plan and we just have to be patient and see what happens. And certainly, you know, he, he waited around for me for for a good few years before I sort of turned to him. But he was always there for me. You know, he always, he didn't give up on me, which is just amazing. Oh, tell me about that moment when you turned to him. Yeah, it's it, it's weird because, um, yeah, it's I didn't have sort of like a, an amazing sort of like Damascus, Damascus Road <laughs> experience, you know. It, it was just a gradual thing. You know, I'd, I'd been thinking about doing it for a long time. But I think you get to a point where you realise, you know, my life was really good. There was nothing wrong with my life, but I just felt, you know, and there's nothing, something missing. My family something was missing. fantastic, but just felt something was missing. Yeah, yeah. there was yeah. just something missing. And I'd always been saying, oh, I'm going to start you know becoming yeah. living a christian life um but i'd i'd never done it and it just it just sort of um sort of naturally came about i guess so so yeah it it it's funny but as i say i'd i'd known since i was sort of i don't know 6 7 years old that i believed in god you know i was calling out to him and you know asking for him you know for help in situations and stuff like that and so i i would say that probably that was when i really discovered God was probably when I was, yeah, a young, young kid, really. Yes. Well, you say you've known God for uh, for a long time. I think the sign of becoming a Christian is that there's a transformation in your life. Yeah. Um, um, you've just said that your your life was good, you 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 were successful, you were happy in your life. Um, what changes came about when you became a Christian? I think it just makes you more, less, less selfish. It makes you more... Um, I don't know. Uh, Lorraine, my wife, says that a lot has changed about me. Um, you know, so uh, and I, I think it has. Um, just having that freedom, feel that feeling of freedom, and and knowing that he's always there for you. I think it it does change you. And yeah. um, I mean, yeah, I think it would be more for other people to sort of say what's changed about me. But I think yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm constantly developing and learning. Sure. You know, so and has Lorraine uh, told you what has changed in you? Um, what has she noticed? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I think she will have noticed, yeah, that I'm more caring and more more loving than I would have been. Um, I think um, it's hard to describe, but yeah, I think maybe an extra confidence. Certainly, I mean, you know, music is only part of it, but certainly the the development that's happened in my ability to sort of profess. That, that I live for God and, yeah. you know, what he's done for me has is, is definitely, definitely increased a lot. I'm, I, you know, it's, and just in general sort of contentment and happiness, you know, it's, it's, I think it just shines out of people, you know, people can tell by your faith and the, the way you are, even if you don't, um, if you're not always professing the gospel to them, I think people can see a change and you can see a difference. Um, yeah. So I wasn't, I wasn't ever a, a sort of bad person really as people would see it. But, um, but I think, um, you know, there's there's been a there's been a definite change. Very good. Let's go on and hear some more music. Uh, your third track today is called Offering. Tell yeah, us a bit about. Yeah, it's tell us a bit about this one. And um, yeah, it's it's basically it's a song of praise and a, and a declaration and a, and a a wish really to 
let God sort of shine through in my life and in people's life. I think it's important for us. I mean, the gospel calls us to, um, you know, make ourselves a living sacrifice for, for God, not in the in a sort of scary way, but in the way that we put him first, in the way that we make him the centre of everything we do, that we dedicate our life. We, we, we do exist. We live and breathe to glorify God and to complete the Great Commission. And um, I think we should always hunger to do that you know um it's it's a song about first of all it's a song about praise um what jesus has done for us the amazing sacrifice that he gave and then it's about how not through works because we don't need to work to get to heaven you know there's only one way to heaven that's through jesus uh, he's he's won the victory we don't need to worry about our salvation um but it's i think through gratitude we we want to do something we want to glorify and we want to um just spread the gospel and that's really what this song's all about okay well let's have a listen to it now this is offering by jason doughty
apologising that's a much more up-tempo song yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do you prefer the up-tempo ones to the more meditative um, ones? I'm sort of changing a little bit. I've, I've always been a sort of, I've always liked up-tempo songs. I've always been sort of like a like, sort of like two or three up-tempo songs followed yeah. by, by a sort of quieter song. But I'm beginning to sort of, um, to change a little bit and go for things that are a little bit more tender and yeah. and, and slower as well now. But yeah, yeah. I must admit, I was I, I'm, I, I do like my fast songs. Yeah, there, there are definite uh, 80s and, and 90s <laughs> vibes uh, in some of your songs. Uh, what are your musical influences what, what, what sort of music do you listen to um well from a christian perspective i'd listen to quite a lot of stuff really i'd listen to all the sort of modern um big church worship bands sort of like hillsong and um, and so on but i i do like um uh, chris tomlin and um and other artists who you know i'd probably relate to his music in terms of you know it's 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 got that sort of um upbeat feel to it and um it's got a Good, good old-fashioned sort of pop and and rock music would be my thing. But I, I love a, I think it probably shows I love a a, a huge variation of music. You know, yeah. I'd, I'd like electronic music, I'd like rock music, but I'd also like quieter music as well. And I like quieter worship music. So a real sort of mixed bag. I think the the album River of Life is sort of almost it's almost like a sort of mixed an old-fashioned mixtape. You know, it's got it's got all sorts of different. It hasn't got a particular single style you know the songs are all quite different yeah um which which i think is, I think is a good thing yeah it's interesting actually you should use the phrase mixed tape <laughs> i was listening to an interview on the radio uh, only yesterday uh, cassettes are making a comeback <laughs> really uh, you, do, you, uh, do, do you do you remember making your mixed tapes i do remember making mixed tapes yeah <laughs> <laughs> i must admit yeah and having to cue them up with a, a pen in the hole on the cassette yeah tape. it was a real art for me yeah, i used to love just... making mixed tapes, tapes actually yeah yeah to share my could... musical tastes with people People. Of course, when you made a mix tape for your girlfriend, that was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no comment. On that one. <laughs> oh, they were done out of love, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they were. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned um, Barrow Valley Church, which is your current spiritual home. It's been your spiritual home for a number of years now. Yeah. Um, you live in a, a small village that straddles the Carlow Wexford borders, Myshill. It's a forty-five minute drive to uh, to yeah, Barrow Valley. Probably, probably, yeah. Round about that. Why, why do you travel so far to church? I think it's just a good fit for me and my family and for the boys. Um, it's a, um, it, it's, it's definitely worth it. I mean, it can be be hard work doing sort of practices and and services and stuff like that, where you you know you are travelling quite a bit. But there's loads of actually, weirdly enough, there's just lots of people from our church who live in our village and our surrounding village. We've got a small group there um, where um, there's there's just loads of us. <laughs> We're all around the surrounding areas um, and all go into Carlo. Right, um, so you meet, you meet uh, externally of the church as well. In, yeah, in your locality. On, on church sponsored sort of um, yeah small groups um for for bible teaching um so we we have a small sort of local community as well um but um yeah lots of us are in and out of the church um regularly during the week so um you've been with barra valley for how long been there for probably seven years about seven years i would say yeah yeah have you seen great growth in the church since then or yeah it's been fantastic we we moved to um two services so 10 a.m and 12 noon um that was around about autumn last year um and there has been great growth and, and i know you know we firmly believe that god's plan is to sort of reach people and reach more and more people um we're trying to plan ahead so plan space for when those people come um we're already seeing numbers up through the two services um and we're just pushing ahead you know and 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 having faith that god will um continue to grow the church um and there's some really exciting things happening um definitely i mean w what we would say is you know the, the amount of people that we have at our church if you look at the size of the community in, in carlo i don't think we can ever do enough to to reach more and more people and and we just love for everybody in the community and from around about from anywhere really just to come in and find out about god and yeah uh, you know it's uh it's a a big mission we have and um we've god's blessing us with the facilities and with the people to hopefully reach out to those people more yeah and, more. and is it an active mission uh, do, do you do outreach how do you get the word out there that here we're here this is our church come join us yeah well we're doing that more and more um i mean um last night in the church actually we did a an event which was about um internet safety which was sort of not necessarily a particular christian slant on that but it's just getting people in from the community and it's um it's 
getting them to come into the church and see that it's not a, a scary place to be and the you know to see the people and see um see how loving and how normal we hopefully are yes um and um yeah so we're doing more and more outreach i mean um in terms of from a personal level, I've I try to get out to other churches and to events in my local community as well, and to do things with people in terms of um, musical events. Um, sure. With uh, I do a guitar class with kids in our surrounding area, which you know I'm not preaching the gospel, but it's getting out there and it's just seeing people, and um, it's it's a real pleasure to do it. As as are the events that we do at other churches um, in the in in the area. Of course, uh, churches. Uh, throughout Ireland every village and town in the country has its churches and and they're known from their their steeples and whether they have a cross on top of them or whether they don't um your church meets in an industrial complex no steeple no cross <laughs> on the roof uh, do you find um people are suspicious of you um I don't know, really. I don't. I don't, I don't think so. I've, I mean, I, I guess. I guess possibly there is a sort of tradition to think of um, different church. You know, people do expect to see those those yes. steeples, and they say expect to see people in robes and stuff like that. But um, I do think there's a. I mean, certainly when we were looking for a church, I, I didn't realise that there were churches like ours around that weren't the sort of traditional churches um and um it's uh so no i, I don't think people are suspicious i think it's, it's the key thing is trying to get people in really to see that it's a little bit different um and any sort of preconceived ideas they may have of church um and some people you know um a traditional church is is right for them uh, for, for but it's good to offer something a little bit different um, and uh, where you can sort of, you know, let your hair down and you can um, you can wear what you want and uh, and, and things like that. I think it gives a, an, op- an option to people um, and something something a little bit different. Yeah. How did you find Barra Valley? Uh, through a website, yeah, through their website. So you were actively searching for churches? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, my wife was. Uh, she found it and, um, and, and that's the way, really. Let's have another piece of music. Uh, By My Side is your fourth choice. Tell me yeah. a bit about this. Yeah, this song is based on um, the story of uh, Jesus' encounter with the woman at the well, um, the first uh, Gentile person that he actually preached to in his ministry. Um, and, um, you know, the, the choice of her as the first person I don't think was was anything by by accident. She was um, a Samaritan and she was a woman and and. From a Jewish perspective, both of those things weren't they weren't people you generally choose to speak to first of all because they were sort of um you know they they tended to see the Samaritans as not being kind of worthy really um and so he picked her to speak to um and he told her that if she changed if she if she came to him um and and left her old life behind um that she would have rivers of living water running from her um rather than just you know the water from the well which would you know she'd soon thirst you know she would never thirst again because she would have this living water running 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 through her um and i think that's that's true of all of us as as christians we have access to this river of of living water which is a just a river of life um which is not only a river of life for us but it's something that we can share with others and and you know as as the great commission says we can get out there and and tell people about about jesus other aspects of the song really um it, in the chorus it mentions just the majesty of of the universe it mentions mentions that all the proof that's all around us of of a creator in my in in my opinion you know the the you know when i walk around in the day when i see the amazingness of creation um it just makes me question people might say it's illogical to believe in a creator god but i tend to feel it's it's illogical to believe in th- th- there isn't you know if you look at the incredibleness of our surroundings and the universe and you think about the you know logic is almost illogical because if you try and be logical about this world and you look around there's so much that science doesn't understand there's things the amount of coincidences that would be needed to create a a planet for us to live on even the coincidence of the sun appearing the same size as the moon even though the distance between them is massive and the difference in size is massive you know these are things that i believe I, i saw somewhere that the odds of them appearing the same size are like in the millions to one you know and if you if if you were to bet your life on you know those odds you'd be considered crazy you know it's illogical to for those coincidences to happen yeah um and i think through my life as well 
there's so many sort of coincidences. They're not coincidences that, you know, that you just, I've always believed that God must be behind it because it's it's just beyond um, comprehension, uh, really, to, to think of it as, as being luck or, or coincidence. Uh, and the final thing it's about, and all, most of my songs really is about, it's Jesus is the only way. You know, I, I talk in the song about religion and works can't save us, only Christ can save us. He's the only way. And hallelujah you know he, he did it for free and the victory's already been won and that's what this song's all about well let's have a listen to it now this is by my side from jason doughty is there no ending or no limit to your love flowing freely from this well i'm drinking our home your grace abounds, your living water floods my soul Overflowing, give me more than I can hold A river of life Turning darkness to light You're surrounding me, watching over me With you by my side, I am true Deepest ocean to distant galaxies are reminders of your great majesty. Yahweh changed me like a blind man given sight. I once was weak, but now I'm strong to win the fight. And Jesus, lead me on your long and winding road. You take my burdens, lighten up this heavy load I was lost in the night Until you made it right You're surrounding me, watching over me With you by my side, I am truly free Deepest ocean to distant galaxies All reminders of your great majesty And religion and ain't ever coming back Don't need no ticket Cause the best things come for free He's paid the full price All he asks is you believe It's only one way Only Jesus can save Surrounding me, watching over me With you by my side, I am truly free Deepest ocean to distant galaxies All remind us of your great majesty Take control of me, have your way in me Take this life with me, all I was meant to be Be my first and last, be my destiny Be the Lord of my life, shine your glory in me That was By My Side by Jason Doughty. Jason is a Christian singer-songwriter. He's from Ireland. He's from uh, Michael, a small village on the Carlow Wexford border. Jason, it's fascinating to talk to you today, actually. Usually when we do these interviews, they're across the Atlantic. They're done over a telephone line. It's, it's marvellous to have you physically here in the studio with us. It's great to be um, here. We've talked pretty much at length uh, about uh, Barrow Valley Church, uh, but there, of course, we have to mention your pastor. Paddy, he's quite a character, isn't he? Oh, he's a, he's a great guy. You know, he's 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 amazing um, and inspiring. You know, he's been at the church for such a long time in terms of, you know, and he's it's not always been easy, you know. I'm just so inspired by the fact that he just has kept on going. And the only reason he's kept on going is is just because of his passion for God and his want to to spread the, the gospel, you know. It's, it's, it's amazing. I, I don't know how 
I have so much respect for people who are sort of heading a church because the amount of things that they have to put up with, the amount of setbacks they have to put up with, and just to keep on going and just to keep on believing and keep on putting in that energy is just incredible, really. Yes. You know, I know as a worship leader, you know, you can have setbacks and you can feel demoralized at times and burnt out at times, but just to see that amazing heart and faith to keep on going and to keep on pushing through um even when there are setbacks um and even when you're you're tired and um you may not see the see things sort of happening as you expect them to because you know we're 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 dreaming big at at barrow valley church in terms of bringing people in um, and trying to spread the gospel to to as many people as possible um sometimes you'll be disappointed but you know we we still have that firm belief and he's always got that sort of focus and that belief that god's going to do amazing things uh, in carlo and um it's just incredible to see that heart really and inspiring i think he, he's got his family behind him as well hasn't he absolutely they're, yeah. they're involved yeah. in church leadership too yeah they are yeah ab- absolutely um so um steven katrina chloe and 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 Heather, yeah, they're all, they're all involved, and um, and just offering support. You know, sometimes when it's um, you know when people have health health difficulties or when people are, are tired, they need you know as a body we need to come together and support those people. You know, and and help them, and and they're just massively, you know, they're just so strong and and so supportive and and generally not just from from the, from their family but from the whole church it's just amazing to see that people come together and support each other you know it's it's a, a, an amazing sort of support network really yeah you've used the word support there at least half a dozen times <laughs> how supportive have they been of you and your music very much so i think you know um and um it's just great i think as well the, the whole congregation um has been in particular been supportive and non-christian people have been very supportive of me in particular actually um you know have really liked my music and have, have helped me a lot of people have been involved a lot of in terms of um doing vocals in terms of doing um uh, playing instruments on on the tracks as well um and um yeah it's and and joe clear who produces the the songs he's 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 a he's a non-christian but he's just a, such an amazing uh lovely guy you know it's just a pleasure to work with him he's got so much respect for the material that it's uh, it's it's really really fantastic yeah he's a terrific producer the the the, the quality of the recordings is very very high thanks thanks yes, yeah. yeah um just finally your your role as worship leader in Barrow Valley you have a group with you there as well do you yeah there's a, we've we've got a team of uh, of just fantastic musicians people and and particularly you know that just their hearts are just so for god um it's just a pleasure to to um you know to worship with them you know and and that's the main thing um you know we first and foremost we're there to worship you know and then people come along with us um in the congregation and you know we're, we're as a church we're the worship team you know the whole church is the worship team but you know it's great just to work with so many sort of talented people but people who really they, they are just everybody's hearts are right you know that's that's the key thing and um the 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 team is sort of changes now and again but it's just getting stronger and stronger and um god's blessing us with with amazing amazing musicians but also just amazing people you know so what does the future hold for you musically what are your dreams my dreams are just to get any songs that god gives me out there to as many people as possible you know i just really i mean he's given me songs for a reason i don't know why he <laughs> but um you know he must have done it for a reason so i just want to get to really encourage people um, to build them up people who are christians but also to reach people who are you know don't know god to sort of hopefully through my songs to preach some messages um that they may that may surprise them um I, I, and i just like to yeah just like to reach as many people as, as possible um it's, it's about the music it's about glorifying god that's that's what it's all about really well listeners are going to be able to hear your music on the radio here um but um, where else can they hear it well, I've got the CDs, so I've got hard copies of the CDs, um, but also the songs are available on all the 
general so on spotify on itunes and amazon um you can get them there um i've got a youtube channel um if you just look up jason doughty christian music so doughty is d-o-w-t-y um the spelling there or if you just want to get in contact with me at all then i've got a phone number which is uh 087-633-0951 and yeah i'm just i'm just passionate about getting out there and and spreading the gospel message really Fantastic. And, uh, through my songs and uh, yeah well I think we're going to be hearing a lot of you in the future uh, this is a great recording honestly I've uh, been listening to it for the past week leading up to this interview today and uh, yeah well done that's all I can say to you keep up the great work thank you talk to you about your final track uh, on the programme today for eternity okay for eternity yeah it's a it's really a song about the amazingness that God takes people who are broken people who are sinners people who are you know, struggle. You know, I have confidence issues in terms of, um, and I don't have a musical background, um, but there are so many examples. He takes us with broken people uh, and he just changes it completely around. He changes the broken into, you know, he gives us perfection, um, not perfection as a, in, in ourselves at all. You know, we can't actually reach that perfection. Only Jesus has been perfect. But he just takes us to a different level. He turns weakness into strength. You know, we may be weak, but he just gives us that amazing strength. And, uh, you know, as 2 Corinthians 12.10 says, For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And and this song's about the just just the incredible gift, the free gift that Christ has given us of a, a chance of eternity and a, a love that lasts for eternity. Fantastic. Well, the album is called A River of Life. Uh, the artist is Jason Doughty. It's been a pleasure speaking to you today, Jason. No, it's been a pleasure coming in. Thank you. And uh, this is our final track from Jason today. This is For Eternity.
UCB Ireland. More than just words. More than just music.